This is part two. These are the more advanced tricks in the video. A good spin on your yo-yo. Spread your legs just a bit and give the yo-yo a throw. Make sure it spins at the bottom. Keep the change. Get that thing dry clean for me, will ya? Great. And now we're gonna move on to yet another style of Imperial Yo-Yo. This bright and colorful model is the Duncan Neo. And with it, I want to show you the pinwheel. It starts like breakaway and goes all the way out, forms a pinwheel. Check it out again in yo-yo slow-mo. As the yo-yo comes around, let it hit your pointer finger, pinch it off with your middle finger, and support it with your thumb, and then bring it back. Our next trick is called jail bars, and for good reason. Check it out. Let me out of here! Now watch it again in yo-yo slow-mo, and pay close attention to the finger work. Start with your pointer finger on your yo-yo hand, and then just weave back and forth to each of the fingers working your way down your hands. Now that we're out of jail, I'd like to introduce you to another style of imperial yo-yo here in the Hall of Fame. It's called the Duncan Gold Award. I'd like to use this one to show you one of my favorite tricks, the rocket in the pocket. My rocket scientist jacket, please. Good helps hard to find it, yes. And so is a good fit. Here it is, the rocket in the pocket. Three, two, one. Bet you'd like to witness that again in yo-yo slow-mo. Here it is. Take it off your yo-yo finger at the top, give it a little lift. That's all for the Duncan Gold Award. And that's all for my rocket scientist jacket. Stick it on a hanger, I'll dry clean it. Great. Now we're going to move on to the Duncan Butterfly. It kind of looks like a butterfly if you use your imagination. The story is told that it was originally a mistake when some yo-yo took the two pieces of a regular yo-yo and cut them backwards. I'm surprised they didn't call it the oi oi. <laughs> but it actually turned out to be a good design with several great plate characteristics. For instance, if you throw it down a little bit to the side, it's very forgiving because of the rounded sidewalls. Another great advantage to the butterfly, because it has a wide gap, is doing string tricks. You can almost always hit your mark. Now I'd like to teach you a trick that takes advantage of all those great characteristics. It's called the roller coaster. Believe me, it drives them wild. See what I mean? But in order to teach you the roller coaster, I need to teach you several other tricks that are each a part of it, starting with the man on the flying trapeze. Easy guys, I need to be able to keep my balance here in order to teach the trick. We start with the breakaway that we learned earlier. Then you put your finger right in the way of the string, and let you come over the top and flop onto the string. It's important to put your hands together just a little bit to cushion the fall, bring it down. When you're ready for the yo-yo to come back, pull your hands apart, it'll pop the yo-yo up in the sky, and it'll come into your hands. You can control whether the yo-yo will hit the string by how far out your right and left hand is, like this. If for some reason the yo-yo shouldn't hit the string, can do this. It goes over the outside, put your middle finger out, let the yo-yo drop, and flop it over the top. If it should happen to come off on the inside, you can do the same thing. Middle finger out, let it drop off your pointer finger, flip it back over the top. And there he is, the man on the flying trapeze. While we're on the trapeze wire, let me show you how to rock the baby on the trapeze. Get the trapeze, Take your right hand and push it into the string. The left hand comes back and right there, at that point, put your thumb in next to your pointer finger and open a cradle and flop the yo-yo back over the top and you're out of it. So that's rock the baby on the trapeze. You can also do the somersault on the trapeze and that looks like this. Same thing as rock the baby, but when you come over, just flip the yo-yo over. 
continue to make flips as many as you want as long as the string doesn't run out. Flop, flop, flop. That's the somersault. You can also somersault in the other direction too. This way we've learned and the other way. Now that you've got all that together, it's time to move on to something called double or nothing. How do they do that stuff? Here's how it's done. I'm going to let you look at that yo-yo slow-mo from the top. Keep the yo-yo string close to the base of your finger on the first two passes, and on the final pass, hook it on the end of your finger. And if you want to get from double to nothing back to trapeze, that's a trick called dismount. It looks like this. Bring it onto the trapeze and drop with your pointer finger on your right hand. Pull down with your right hand, it'll flip the yo-yo over the top and bring it on home. And here it is again. I'd like to take all those tricks and put them together for the roller coaster. And I'm going to add one last little bit at the end. Watch closely and you'll see it. Here it is. Trapeze, transition, double or nothing, dismount, somersault, and exit out the back. Now I'd like to teach you two other great picture tricks with the butterfly. The first one is called the four leaf clover. And I bet you'd like to see that again a little slower. Here it is. Take your pointer finger on your right hand and dip under the string. Dip with your two fingers on your left. Back to your right, to your left. Finally, the original two. And swing the yo-yo from the inside up and out and over. And there you have it. The next trick is called Haley's Common. It's a combination of two that we already know. The man on the trapeze and the star. Let's watch it again in yo-yo slow-mo. Remember, the real Haley's Comet is a rare one. It comes around once in a lifetime. So as you learn in the trick, take it slow. The real Haley's Comet's in no big hurry, and you shouldn't be either. Our next yo-yo in the Hall of Fame collection is called the Duncan Professional. It was named after me. Super! Just kidding. But actually, it is a great yo-yo. In fact, I like it so much, I always carry a spare. Right now, I want to show you some tricks with it, but let me just say that it's a great yo-yo for looping tricks, because the high sidewalls keep from wobbling off center, something that we all have a tendency to do from time to time. We're going to move into a mode that I call... Stereo Yo-Yo's a Go-Go! Actually, I just call it Stereo Yo. Okay. These tricks, when you do them with both hands, they're double the trouble, but twice as nice. Tricks like double gravity gripper, double forward pass. What I would recommend is that you learn the first four tricks on this tape with your alternate hand, the hand that you don't normally yo-yo with. Then you can put them together and do double tricks like double gravity gripper or double forward pass. Here's a neat one. It's called the double dog walk. It's a little noisier than the regular walk the dog, and a tad bit more difficult. For our next trick, we're going to do milk and the cow. It's the same thing as flip-flop, only the yo-yo goes continuous in one direction, and you do it with both hands. It looks like this. Now, I know you'd like to see that again, so here it is in slow motion. And here's Milk and the Cow, sideways. Just kidding. But it is our next trick. It's called the Wordy Bird. And it's the same thing as loop to loop but continuously and in both hands. Now it's very important not to let anybody get too close on this trick or get between the yo-yos. Because if they do, it instantly becomes the haircut. I'm not kidding. Check this kid out. He's the last kid who thought I was joking. He got a little too close to the whirly bird. He became the haircut. Nick, look at him now. Now, if you take the yo-yo in your right hand and go to the left, and the yo-yo in your left hand and go to the right, at the same time, it's the world-famous double-handed crossover loop-to-loop. Say that again. Okay. 
It's the world famous double handed crossover loop to loop, one of the most difficult tricks known to mankind. But you probably don't want to see that. Uh, you do? Oh, yeah! Alright! It starts like this with the yo yo straight. This could be fun! Yeah, it's gonna be fun. But you might want to back up from your set a little bit on this one. Even though I am a trained professional, and I have done this for 20 years, I haven't made a Oops! <laughs> okay. Now remember, the yo-yos are going to start straight, and they're slowly going to cross. You, whatever you do, don't look at the strip with your eyes crossed. It'll just look straight. Alright, here we go. You can clap now. When? Now. Now? Yes, now. Yeah. Thank you. Here's another great trick you can do with two yo-yos. It's called loop to loop and shoot the moon. With my right hand, I'm going to do shoot the moon. And with my left hand, I'm going to do loop to loop. It looks like this. Now, when you first learn that trick, it's often a good idea to use a butterfly for shoot the moon because that particular model is the best model and the easiest one to use for that particular trick. Now, before we go on, I want to show you a trick that I thought was almost impossible, but I practiced it. Well, here it is. It's called rocking the twins. Take the yo-yo from your alternate hand, snug it up on your index finger so both yo-yos rest side by side, and give it a throw. Rockin' the Twins. Let's see that again, Arnie. All right. Here you go. Wow. So you like that? We sure do. Rockin' the Twins while talking the Twins. Kind of fun. But now it's time to say goodbye to the Twins. Goodbye. Bye. But before you go, here's a yo-yo for each of you. Gee, thanks, Arnie. You're welcome. Now that we've said goodbye to the twins, let's say hello to the Duncan Wheel. It's like the butterfly, but it's a little bit wider and it's made out of a heavier plastic. Also, there's more weight toward the rim and a neat design inside the hub. And now, as Pat Sajak would say, let's give the wheel a spin. <laughs> scientific wonder. It's called Split the Atom. Check it out. Now that was the basic <coughs> form of Split the Atom. Now I'm going to try to teach it to you. But the way to do that is to teach you three other tricks that are each building blocks to Split the Atom. And here they are. The first one I've already shown on the tape earlier is called Skin the Cat. It looks like this. Then from there, you go to the barrel rolls, very similar to skin the cat. But instead of letting the cat go off the tip right here where you normally would, as it's spinning, you do this. Take your yo-yo hand, wrap underneath the yo-yo, and bring your hand up. Roll the yo-yo off the end and grab it. And as with skin the cat, you want to put a little loop-to-loop -loop at the end, like that. So here's the barrel roll. Now there's another way to do the barrel roll. It looks like this. You just immediately wrap the yo-yo right around your finger back onto the string. Let it off, do the loop. The third trick is called the brain twister. It starts out like barrel roll, but once you get it here, switch the heights of your hands, pull your yo-yo finger into the string and do a somersault, just like you did on trapeze. And here's brain twister with both the forward and the reverse loop. Now here's a little extra goodie you can put on there. It's called Rock the Baby on the Brain Twister. Bring this string up over the top, down, open it up, and somersault the baby out, and you're out of the trick, just like that. Once you've got these three tricks down, skin the cat, barrel roll, and the brain twister, you've developed the skill level necessary to take the quantum leap to attempting Split the Atom. Here's Split the Atom in its fullest form. I'm going to add to what I previously did a mount. We'll just split the atom, rock the baby, and end it with shoot the moon. 
Now that's pretty impressive, but the basic form looks like this. Split the atom. Now we're going to take it a little bit slower. Watch carefully. One other visually impressive trick is a combination of Rock the Baby and the Eiffel Tower. And it's cleverly named, you guessed it, Rock the Baby and the Eiffel Tower. You gotta love it. Here it is. Now it's time to get out from behind the wheel, because up next I've got two Duncan Yo's you can actually use to do tricks with in the dark. Starting with this one right here, the Duncan Glow in the Dark. Get it, boys! No, not music, I meant the lights! Now if you like that, you're going to love this. This next one is called the Duncan Satellite. It's got a little light inside, and when you give it the spin, it has a little switch that pops on, and it actually lights up. Hit it, boys! The lights! Nifty, huh? Our last yo-yo in the Hall of Fame collection is a pleasure for both the eyes and the ears. It's called the Duncan Melody. Really? Clever, huh? I just call it Mel for short. This yo-yo really is a lot of fun. Listen. Well, that tune tells me it's time to go. As you're learning these tricks, just do the best you can and have fun. And as I said at the start of the tape, if you work really hard at it and practice, someday you too can become the king of the string. Yes, there you have it, though, folks. That was uh, Arnie Dixon's uh, 1990s classic, man. That's where a lot of us learned how to yo-yo from.